Hi folks, this is Ray at Trees from Seed. Today we're going to look at several ways of protecting field sown acorns and other nuts. <coughs> We've got some hickory nuts and red oaks here. First, we have a square of half inch hardware cloth. This is good for deterring deer and squirrels. When we, you know, I've used this in field planting successfully for many years. We sow several nuts in our site. Remember that the nuts are gathered for free. They cost nothing. They're easy to get. They seem to fall in a pattern, but that doesn't matter. This guarantees that we will have at least one or two seedlings to choose from. The germination in field sown nuts is pretty low due to predation and other for other reasons we can take the cloth place it over the sewn nuts weight the corners with stones or bricks this doesn't do much to deter mice or voles but it's certainly if your problem is squirrels and deer this will keep them out there are other similar methods. Here's a nursery tray that is perforated. And of course it's obvious it's not going to deter mice. However, if you have them at hand or other kinds of containers much like this, certainly it's worth a try to deter deer and squirrels. So again, we sow several. We don't worry about having too many seedlings. Uh, we are goal is to make sure we have at least one successful seedling. Place a weight over it, perhaps pull some of the dirt up around the edge. This will certainly deter squirrels and deer. Um, I failed to cover them. Uh, put them under the soil a little bit. But not mice. Don't worry about transplanting wild grown seedlings. They don't do well. They won't behave like nursery transplants, uh, and it's really not worth doing. Next, we have a common tin can. This is known as a Drosty can. James Drosty showed me this. You take a tin can, and you burn the protective coating off of it. Do this outdoors. It's a plastic coating, and that will we expose the metal and cans like this will rust in a couple seasons and not damage the seedling. So this is for a single acorn. Perhaps put one nut carefully in the hole, cover it, push the tin can, can drive it in a little if we need to. The hammer, pull the dirt around it. Mr. Drosty assures me that a can like this will rust away in two seasons and not do harm to the seedling that comes through. A similar method is to use a clay pot. One could also use various kinds of plastic containers with holes cut in them. The clay pot is a little larger. There's no reason if we wish to ensure better success we put a couple of nuts in. Our goal is to make sure that we have at least one seedling. The seed costs nothing. And both stems, should they germinate, will seek the light and come through. This, of course, is more durable and could be removed at the end of the first season after the leaves fall when you have simply a straight stem. Or, if it's left longer, it may have to be broken to be removed. And this, if it's pushed down into the soil and the dirt's piled up around it, provides protection against squirrels and deer and some potential protection against mice and voles. Next is a method that I've used for 40 years and actually have harvested trees that were started in this way. We take a brick, we place our acorn 
so that the shell of the acorn is just under the edge of the brick. Again, to ensure success, we put several of them in place. Don't be afraid to thin them. It's just the same process as thinning carrots in a vegetable garden. Cover them with soil. And we place the second brick so that it also covers the edge of the nut, but the tip of the nut, where the stem arises, is in this slot. So the root goes down and the stem comes up between the bricks, and the nut itself is protected from predators. It makes it difficult for squirrels to dig them out, almost impossible for deer to dig them out. Uh, it doesn't provide a lot of protection against voles. You have to know your enemy. You have to know what sort of pests you have to deal with. The similar method is to use scrap wood. I once lived close to a sawmill, so I used sawmill slabs. They worked fine. Again, placing the nut sideways. That's a hickory nut. We have oaks and hickories here. These were all sorted by flotation and these were all sinkers so these are these should all be sound nuts. That's important in field planting because your germination is going to be low. You don't want to plant nuts that can't possibly sprout. We cover with a little soil. We know again that the tip of the nut is going to be oriented this way so it's in the slot and the new stem can come out between the two boards we place the second board so that it's also over the corner with boards since they're lighter we may want to press the dirt up around them to make sure that deer don't dig they generally don't overturn a lot of stuff to find nuts but they could. Again, protection against deer and also the narrow slot makes it tough for squirrels to dig them out. If there wasn't sufficient dirt over those nuts, we can add a little. So here are several ways of protecting field sown acorns and nuts, boards, bricks, nursery pots, the drosty burnt tin can, found containers of any type that will seem to work, use your imagination, and hardware cloth. Thank you.